Hello everyone and welcome back to part 3 of my Mission Maker series. Topic of today's lesson will be triggers and trigger zones. So what is a trigger? Well, just as using the trigger on a gun, the trigger makes something happen. In DCS we can say it the following way, when X happens, Y is activated. For example, you want to fly a close air support mission and after you have destroyed like, let's say, 30% of uh, the enemy tanks, you want the enemy to scramble a fighter jet to intercept the player, or uh, maybe uh, move uh, triple A units towards the AO of the player. Or maybe you want to be outflying a air combat patrol mission and somewhere along the way you want to be intercepted by an enemy fighter. And that is what I'm going to show you here today. So let's start with setting up a trigger zone, that is this one, like so and click on the map. So, now your new trigger zone is up, so let's uh, rename it, let's say, let's just call it uh, trigger uh, one, like so. And you maybe you want to change the format a bit, uh, the default is circular, as you can see, but uh, let's make it uh, a square, like so. And here you can also edit it by doing like so, and drag it into how you want it to be. Yeah, something like that. So let's say if you as a player fly into this trigger zone, you want an enemy fighter to be scrambled from uh, UAE down here and fly towards you. So now I'm going to show you how to do that. Let's first exit this one. And uh, let's delete the previous test flight I had for my previous mission, like so. First of all, you want to uh, add the enemy fighter that you want to intercept you. Let's place it right here. Uh, yeah, let's make it American. What should it be? Actually, let's uh, just make the enemy an F F-15 and click there. And let's name it. Ian Fighter 1 and make him a single and let's give him some weapons. You know what, let's just give him a couple of, uh, of sidewinders, like so. And of course set up uh, all the altitude and speed you want him to have. Let's See him be at uh, that's 5000. Let him fly towards the trigger zone. Have him increase the altitude, I think. Oops, like so. And if he survives, he can, uh, he can always uh, fly back and, and land at Alminad, like so. The next thing you want to do is to click late activation. This is very important. And also let's put him down to a trained one, like so. Now, the next thing you want to do is to go to uh, set rules for triggers, like so. And you want to click new, let's name it. Like so, you should always uh, name your triggers because it's much easier to find them if you get a lot of them. And you want them to be triggered once. I won't go into the different uh, uh, types uh, in this uh, election. You once is the one you use like 90% of the time. Next up, you want to go to conditions and then you want to press new, like so. And then you want to just click on the type. You can uh, go for all of coalition in zone. That's when everything in that coalition is, is in zone. I have never used this one, but it works. So we have it. All of coalition is out of zone, in zone, and all of the group is out of zone. But the one I'm going to use is called part of coalition. Part of coalition in zone, this one. 
and uh, we, since we are the red coalition we want uh, of course the red red one if you are blue switch it to blue and which zone trigger one that is this one and unit type this is simply if you want uh, it to just to be an airplane that's in uh, the zone for instance if uh, you have a lot of ground units and you don't want uh, the trigger to go off if a tank drives into the trigger zone then you would simply click uh, airplane if you want it to be a helicopter as well you can just uh, uh, click or like so and then do the exactly the same thing and instead of uh, airplane just go helicopter so what happens now is that when a red coalition airplane or helicopter is in this uh, trigger zone this uh, an action is going to be uh, played out and let's move on to that right now you wanted to click new and then you want to go down to group activate and now you need to decide which group is going to be activated that is of course EN fighter you remember this unit right here is EN fighter one so let's go through the logic one more time here's the trigger once the condition that either a red airplane or a red helicopter enters this trigger zone this action is triggered and then fighter group one will be activated it's as uh, simple as that so that is this for this video now you know how to spawn uh, enemy units using uh, the trigger uh, system i hope uh, it was useful it was useful and of course you can use it to spawn uh, everything uh, from enemy ground units or make pretty much anything happen an explosion go off and everything but uh, now at least you know the basics of it and once you know the basic uh, and the logic of it then you start automatically exploring other things of course this uh, comes off as uh, very what can you say scripted and uh, not very surprising but in the next video i will show you how uh, how to add randomness to this function so i'll see you in the next video